Let's see how this assembles together. I have the antenna on the back. And so I can just take this and put it on and I'll just twist it until I find that spot. And there we go. This is really nice and sturdy and quite easy to uh, get it all set up. There we go. We'll just find that hinge spot and twist it into place. So now we have that on there. Let's uh, grab the AC adapter and we're gonna take off the twist. So there we go. There's the one end. This is a seriously long AC adapter and that's pretty nice because it means that if I am moving around, going to different venues, I don't have to worry about bringing an extension cable. Because when you're remote, it's nice to have a pretty sweet place to put your receiver as well. And I guess you'll usually have it by some kind of mixing board. So yeah, let's get those racks onto the unit. And we'll take a look and see which screws that we want to use for that. And I can see they will be these ones in here. So let's grab the scissors and chop that. Whoops, I cut through the instructions. Yeah, and let's see. I probably want these tinier screws here. These are gonna be, so these are gonna be for connecting to the kit. And this is going to be for connecting it to the rack. There we go. I have it a little bit looser to start with. I'm going to, uh, I don't tighten it until the end just to be sure everything's settled nicely. Grab the other side. And let's flip it over to get the screws onto the bottom side. And one more screw. And I think I saw earlier as we were unpacking this together that there was also, there we go, some rubber feet. So I'm gonna put those onto there as well. So now I'll have both options, I guess. Now, if I was putting this into a really tight rack, I probably would not put on the feet. Just to make sure I had as much clearance as possible. But hey, for doing the demo video, this is uh, what it's about. And now we have the batteries. So. And we're going to open up the back here. Let's see, it looks like there's an arrow that points up. 
Oh, nice. That's so solid. And it, it sticks on there as well. It has a pretty solid piece of plastic that's holding that in there. So uh, let's follow the diagram and put in the batteries the right way. And these batteries are going to give me eight hours of transmitting. It's pretty good on how it's going to send that. And I can also use a lithium ion pack, battery pack that they sell separately. And that will give me an actual countdown, uh, how much time I've left on the battery power, which is also really sweet. So, so yeah, there's the battery pack. So let's uh, grab the patch cable now. There we go. We'll get the other twist tie off just to see how long this is too. Yeah, that's pretty decent. I'm going to have it in my pocket. I'm going to have this in my uh, instrument. So that's more than enough space. And we'll check the pins and make sure that they match up. There we go. And now we'll just screw that in. So that's a great tight connection with the clip on the back. I have my power on the side. I have my infrared on the other side. So there's the power set up. It's actually uh, pushed in a little bit. So it'd be difficult to push those by mistake. Now that I have the rack on the sides of it, I'm going to use what's in here to move the antenna. Because if I'm rack mounting it, maybe I want the antenna on the front. Maybe I want them on the back if I have it just as a standalone piece. So yeah, let's check that out. Let's just uh, open this up. All right, and I have a washer in there. So. All right, and it looks like I want this side in. I don't want it to be sticking out too far. So we'll go like that. And maybe I'll put this on the outside here. And... There we go. So we'll just get that started. And later on, we'll tighten it a bit better with the appropriate tools. There we go. Let's do the same on the other side. So we'll put this on here. And we'll thread on the other one. And I'll get some tools later to tighten that up better. I can feel it kind of latches in there. All right, so now we have those. Let's grab the antenna that we put onto the back. We'll just unscrew and pop them out. And these can now go onto the front of the rack unit. And again, when I tighten it up, it will be a lot more snug. And this cable, this cable is for connecting the antenna from the front into the back of the unit. So that'll connect there. Let's do the same on the other side. So now when I want to, I can rack mount this and have access for my antennas on the very front of the unit. And of course that helps for line of sight um, but yeah, it also makes it look a lot neater as well, a lot more tidy. And uh, yeah, so that's how you take the rack and take the remainder of the hardware and put it on there. And now what I have left, I either have the little plugs that will cover that hole if I'm not racking it up like that, or I have my rack screws as well. And they have a nice little washer that will keep it really nice and flush in there when I put it together. So 
If you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section below and we'll see you in future videos. Thank you.